Many people do not realize that hookworms and roundworms can transmit potentially harmful diseases to our family and friends. Watch this. Worms, not a particularly fun topic, but one that's growing in importance for both animal and human health. Many puppies and kittens are actually born with these worm infestations, contracted from their mothers, and can easily acquire new infestations from soil and other sources in the environment. According to a nationwide study of shelters, 52% of shelter dogs from the southeast states are infected with worms that can potentially cause human diseases. Nationally, the number is about 36%. Small children are especially vulnerable. They can be infected through contaminated feces, soil, sandboxes, plant life, and other objects where children are at play. Children's play habits bring them in closer contact with objects that may be contaminated, like sandbox, playgrounds, patios, and backyards. According to the Centers for Disease Control, an estimated 10,000 cases of roundworms in people occur every year in the United States. Children infected by roundworms and hookworms can suffer from serious conditions called larval migrans, which may result in permanent visual or neurological damage. Dogs infected with roundworms and hookworms can show severe signs of illness, such as severe weight loss, loss of appetite, vomiting and diarrhea, and even sudden death. What's interesting, though, is that some dogs that are infected show no signs of illness. These worm infections can be treated. However, prevention is a much better strategy. Veterinarians can provide pet owners with deworming and preventive medications that will help keep their dogs and cats healthy and worm-free. This is a perfect example of how you work with your veterinarian to prevent potentially expensive and very serious disease. I'm Dr. Jim Humphreys reporting.